Let's talk, let's talk about this game. Um, forty nine total games in the Premier League era. City with only eleven wins. Liverpool mm -hmm. with twenty, and eighteen games have ended in a draw. We scroll down to the most recent meetings. We have two two draw. We have Man City beating Liverpool four one. God, that last season sucked. yeah that game was we we battered you guys man but, but to be Juan fair, us. yeah to be fair you guys were going through some things last season where you lost like six on the trot at anfield oh it was some terrible. unprecedented things you know so yeah. i could understand man i don't i don't want to rub it in too much the no, one one fine. draw and then you see that four nil win mm -hmm. by manchester city liverpool with the three one win there and you know we're not going to go further than that but you could see there Liverpool have won one of the last five games while City got two wins and two games have ended in a draw. So I, I do feel confident coming into this game against Liverpool. I don't feel like I'm going to lose the game. A draw would be a good result, but a win would be an even better result. But Liverpool coming into this game are in better form. We struggled against Crystal Palace. We struggled against Tottenham, but Liverpool, they have been winning, 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 winning. And they look at that, the five last five games, they haven't conceded a single goal. So while well, City's been conceding goals, you know what I mean? We conceded four goals in the last five games. So if we are to end on the same points, Liverpool would actually go on to win the, the title on goal difference. So right now, Liverpool are the better, better team in terms of form. And we only have the advantage by one single point. Season so far, number one, number two, City with 23 wins, Liverpool with 22. And wow, the only thing that separates, sheet. yeah, the only thing that separates you is the six draws. Same amount of clean sheets. Everything is so, just so similar. You create Insane. more chances than us and everything. The 7 0, we both smashed That's up <laughs> Leeds United. <laughs> I said, you know. Oh, and man. the worst defeat to, for you was West Ham. The worst for us was against Crystal Palace. Wow, that's surprising. You know, but what's good, and, you know, I've talked about your attacking players. You guys, in terms of Mane, Jota, exactly, Salah, Crazy. Trent, Salah, and Andy Robertson in terms of assists. You know, so, you know, you see the City players dominating the other stats as well there. So, we're not going to get too deep into that. What we know is these teams are the best teams in the country of England. You could say they're the best teams in Europe. With the, you know, with, with maybe Bayern Munich being the, the only team. I'm Bayern are like the only team right now. I'm right. kind of, you know. Because I still they, think, they, man, you guys are better than Bayern Munich. I honestly think it's us and they're you. so good, though. They're so good. That's the thing. When yeah. you have Lewandowski and Mula, you know, and Kimmich, Sane, Gnabry, that's a strong team. You see what I'm saying? Neuer, in, that's a strong team. Their defense is a little iffy, but it's, they're still a very good team considering what they've done in the league. You know, but um, Kyle, um, I'm going to just say this. I don't know what Pep's going to do in terms of his 11, but for me, <laughs> you know, barring injuries and suspension, my ideal 11 would be Edison in goal, Laporte and Ruben Diaz, ideally, but I think Stones is going to play because Diaz is not 100% back yet and it doesn't make sense to play him in such a big game when he's not 100% and Stones done a good job. You know, Stones even responsible for the, I think, for the, the, the win in 20, um, 2018 19 when he cleared that ball off the line. So, you know, give John, put some respect on John Stones' name, though. You know what I mean? So, um, Stones, Laporte, I put Cancelo at left back, Kyle Walker at right back, Rodri. I'll go with Gundawan and Kevin De Bruyne. And up top, I'll go with Sterling, Foden, and Mares. But that's not what Pep's going to do. Pep's going might put play Grealish. He might play Bernardo Silva. He might play Nathan Ake. I don't know what he's going to do. Fernandino might come out of the woodworks and play this game. I don't know. But that that's going to be my ideal eleven. Do you have an ideal eleven in your head? Absolutely. Um, so Ali and goal, obviously Trent Rabo. Uh, Supporting Van Dyke and Matip. 
Uh, Kanate played today. Klopp likes to play Kanate in the Champions League, so I think Matip is going to start on Sunday. Midfield, you got to go with Thiago, Fabinho, and Hendo. I would start Keita um, because Keita start, has pretty much started in all of our big games, and he's played well. But I would start Hendo for the physicality. Um, but then again, we're going to need some creativity going forward. Henderson then, is creative. Yeah, side to side creative and long ball creative, but he doesn't, yeah. <laughs> he can't dribble forward, you know? Yeah. Um, and then starting, it's obviously going to, he's obviously going to start Sala. It's going to be Sala, Sala, Bobby, and Mane. I really think he goes. You don't Sala, think Bobby, he's going to go Jota? You don't think he's going to go Jota, Sala, and Mane? I think, listen, I think the more, I think the, I personally, personally, you play Jota, Mane, and Salah, that's a scarier front three. Well, look, that... it might be scarier to the opposition, but let me hit you with something here. Mm -hmm. So Jota as a center forward, if he has Mane and Salah flanking him, mm. has caused us, he's been almost toothless. He's... In a sense, he doesn't play the role the way Bobby does. For example, Bobby mm. and Jota were subbed on at the same time today, but Bobby was playing center forward. Bobby, the link-up he creates and the problems he creates, dragging players with him and just opening up space, especially teams who are organized at the back like Man mm. City, even Benfica were somewhat organized today. Jota doesn't do that aspect. Yes, Jota can finish. He's a problem mm. in the final third. But the yeah. work off the ball, Jota doesn't have it. And I'm telling you right now, we are going to need the work off the ball if we're going to even think about... You're right. You're right about the work off the ball because um, there might be a situation where you might not even have a lot of the ball. That's what I'm, That's you know exactly what I'm my point. Exactly my point. Now, I do see a world where Luis Diaz starts. I do. I see a world where Luis Diaz starts... Just as like one of those clap moments where he's just like, all right, I'm starting someone you didn't expect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hell, and Diaz Diaz had success against City when we played Porto last season too. Oh, that was a great goal. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. yeah um, so I'm could, telling you, man, these I'm are thinking. two good teams, bro. These are two good teams, man. You know, the the thing about the thing about the teams is they're so freaking similar now. It's like almost mirror image of each other because the way you guys concede goals or give up chances is the same way we give up chances or concede goals. Like we always play a high line. We yes. let the opposition team in. So that is why the first game was so exciting and entertaining and, and end to end because, you know, we, we're, we're like, we're canceling each other out basically. Exactly. You see what I mean? Yeah, absolutely. Liverpool are not going to sit back and allow City to dominate. City are not going to al allow Liverpool to dominate and, and, and just sit. Man City does not have sit back in their vocabulary. You see what I mean? Right. Liverpool are a team that could more, I think, adapt and sit back sometimes. But City does just does not have that in their DNA. And, you know, I and think that's that, another reason mm. why I would, would pick Bobby because there's going to be a lot of pressing in this game. Like you said, we're not going to want to sit back and absorb pressure because we might get yeah. ourselves into trouble. We're going to need players that lead the press. You know what I mean? And yeah, yeah. one thing I just want to say, this, this is I just want everyone watching this and you, this is, it is, we are so privileged to be able to witness the talent and the rivalry of these two teams. It is an absolute gift that we're alive to witness all of this. This this is insane. Look at these teams. You're absolutely right, bro. You're absolutely right. And you know what this looks like? You know what this reminds me of? FIFA career mode. <laughs> when you just aim to have the best team possible. Oh, like you God. get this budget and you're like, yeah, let me improve, let me improve. And these two teams have been improving every season. And even Every with season. the youngsters that's coming through as well, very, very talented youngsters coming through. We see some of them sprinkled in the mix there as well. And a few veterans, you have Milner, we have Fernandinho, you know what I'm saying? Right. So, you know, it's, it's, it's a great rivalry. And I'm definitely looking forward to the game on Sunday. And let's see who starts. Let's see who, if the game ends up in a draw, let's see who wins. But, um... We have to both make a call here. Um, it, it's going to be a tough one for me. Yeah. It's going to be a tough... It, this is going to be a tough one. 
But um, it, it is, it is, it is going to be. A, Liverpool is just a team that it, it's just very difficult to say you're going to beat this team. You see what I'm saying? Because well, yeah, and it goes both ways. It, it doesn't. Ma- yeah, it, it does. It does. Bro, I'm going to have to set up for another draw, bro. I'm, Dude, I, I, that's know, exactly what I was thinking. I, I know it sounds a little corny. Because um, last season when we did beat you for what? I called the win. I think I called the win. But this time around, I don't know if I could call a win, man. I think, I think this is going to be another very entertaining draw. It might be 1-1. It might be 2-2. But if we do end up getting a winner... That would be a massive three points for that team. Oh, 100%. Massive. Literally season-defining three points. But I agree with you. I'm going with the draw also. And I think it's probably going to be like a 1-1 because neither team concedes, you know? It's like, I mean, I'd be very surprised if we go back to the old days of it 4-3, those kind of games before our defenses were sorted out because now it's going to be about – the first team who concedes is likely going to be playing from behind, obviously. But you know and the not going to have the thing, momentum. The crazy thing is, let's say you concede first. Then it's going to be a tense game for City having to defend Liverpool coming at them for, 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 that, for that equalizing goal. But you're at home, though. So you have yeah. that advantage of defending but the lead. Still, but still, though, I think in these big games, sometimes this home thing, it doesn't even matter sometimes. True. You know? And for, for let's say, Liverpool score first, for me as a City fan watching, this is going to be a hard game to watch if that happens. Because I'm going to be like, it's going to be so tense. Let's say 50 minutes go by, we're still behind. 60, 70, 80, we're still behind. And, and if you clinch a late goal, then you'll feel so good. You'll be so relieved. So this this is going to be a good one, man. This is One thing be a good I'll say one. is if whenever City score, they're... I rarely get sick when another team <laughs> scores. But when Man City scores against us, I get sick to my stomach. <laughs> yeah, but Klopp versus Pep, two big managers, you know what I mean? Um, Absolutely. Top, top class, and the rivalry has been very good between these two managers. Not going to get too deep into it, but we are privileged. As Kyle said, we are privileged to witness these teams play, and 20 years from now, when we're talking, God's God's willing, when we're talking about the Man City and the Liverpool team from the 2010s and the 2020s, it's it's going to be a great conversation. You see what I'm saying? And, it, it, you know, it was a pleasure chatting with you. Always. You know. Chopping we, it up, as you yeah, would say. Yeah, we, we, ch- we chop it up and um, we, we had a good little discussion. For those of you guys watching the video. I hope you enjoyed the discussion that we had and, and everything. I know Kyle actually purposely threw some curveballs at me there. But, you know, I'm I'm a proud new Man City fan. You know what I mean? I don't know all these things about oh, Main you Road. Are, you and, are. You know, the people know that. Though. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it's always great to be honest, though, Kyle. You know what I'm yeah. saying? You don't want to pretend you, you've, you, you've been around when um Mika Mika Richards just started and you had you know when Tevez and you know <laughs> Ilano and all these you know I it have to retro- bro I have to retroactively go back and watch a lot of games if that's that's a plan of mine too though I just want to put it up that's a plan of mine I regret not being a city fan earlier than I have but you know like life circumstances and everything no need to explain myself I just feel like i want to get that city plus subscription and go back sometimes and just watch old games you see what i mean oh dude do it so, on youtube for free yeah and you know but still you know quality you don't know, give quality. man city your money still. don't give man city your money <laughs> they got enough money right yeah <laughs> they got enough money but look kyle it was it was great i know we usually say we're gonna chop it up after the game we never do but <laughs> let's see <laughs> let's see what happens this time around though but, but it was definitely fun talking with you. So this video should be on both our channels. And we get it out early enough. Wednesday, yep. you got Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday for this to, to marinate. So um, oh, yeah. oh, guys, yeah. make sure you subscribe to both the channels. I'm Dominic Rich from Dominic Rich FC. That's Kyle from Nothing But Reds. 
Kyle just hit 7K subs. That, you know, um, congratulations, um, Kyle. Thank you. Thank I just you. hit 50. I've been around a, a much longer time. Ooh, so, well you know, deserved. <laughs> you well know deserved. I mean? yeah. You know, you get what? Look, once you keep doing what you're doing, you're going to get there. You're going to get there. Eventually, this is a long game. This I'll be at no... 50K. Dominic will be yeah. at a million. Well, I don't think so, bro. I don't <laughs> think so. You, you might just catch me, you know what I'm saying? Nah, nah. The, not the, a the way Liverpool are, are playing right now, you might just catch up, though. You know what I mean? You, you might never just know. Catch up. We caught up but... with 14 points. So. <laughs> exactly. You know what yeah. I'm saying? You never know. But, guys, um, links to the channels will be in the description boxes down below. Thank you very much for tuning in. I'm your boy, Dom. That's Kyle. Kyle, you have anything to say to the people? No, no, just thank you very much for having me on. It's always a pleasure. Good to catch up. And uh, hopefully maybe we'll do something after. But thanks we'll for ha thanks for coming on. Thanks for, you know, since this is going to live on both channels, thanks for having me again. Oh, All right. So from Kyle and I, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave a comment. Let us know who you think is going to win. Let us know who you think is going to win the league as well. And from your boy Dom, until next time, peace out. Rich score hot peace.